Hi, I'm Natalia. In this video, I'm going to talk about production losses, which is an important part of hydrocarbon accounting for many companies. In simple terms, production loss is the difference between target and actual production. It's sometimes more optimistically called deferred production. Where hydrocarbon accounting comes in is to accurately calculate losses every day and to record the reason for the loss. The terminology tends to vary quite a bit in this area, so let me explain the terms that I'm using. The target production is this line here. It comes from planning and it depends on the number of wells on production and their forecast rates, plus any other factors that are going to limit production. The actual production is this red line. It is known on a daily basis after the production volumes have been measured and allocated. The difference between target and actual is called the shortfall. The objective of the production loss process is to ensure that all of the shortfall is accounted for by loss events and that the events are accurately coded to record the reasons why they happened. Let's have a look at this in a hydrocarbon accounting system. This is the daily production losses screen in Axis. It shows the target, actual and shortfall volumes and it also shows the loss events which have been automatically generated using the on and off status of wells and main equipment items. As the person responsible for this process, my first task is to use my knowledge of what happened to the production on the day to make sure that the shortfall and the loss events are basically correct. If I know of another event that occurred, I can create another record for it. The next step is to code the events. So I can go to the detail screen for this event and select a loss code. I can also select the type and enter a description. This is actually a pretty simple example of the production loss screen in Access. Often we configure multiple levels of item code and reason code but that depends on the operator's coding scheme. We can also see that this event spans over several days and the screen shows the lost production for each day. The estimate comes from the latest well test rate for this well and the attributed volume comes from allocating the shortfall between all the losses for each day on the basis of their estimates. Let's have a look at the summary of production losses over a whole month shown on this Power BI dashboard. It shows the target and actual production and the production loss for each day. And below it shows an analysis of the lost volume by item and by reason. The main purpose of accounting for production losses is to understand why they occurred, ultimately to try to improve efficiency by preventing them from reoccurring in the future. That's where we move away from accounting and into reliability engineering. Anyway, that's all for now and I hope you found this overview useful. Thanks for watching.